Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to compute the relative frequencies of a data object with the deep layer package. So in the video I will show you an example and in this example I'm using the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of our studio. And we can also have a look at this data object by clicking on the data object and then a new window appears which is showing the structure of our data. So as you can see our data consists of 100 rows and two columns x and y whereby the first column x is consisting of numeric values and the second column y is consisting of letters. So let's assume that we want to compute the relative frequency of each combination of the variables x and y. Then we can use the dplyr package and uh, in order to use the dplyr package we first need to install and load the package as you can see in lines 6 and 7 of the code. I have installed the package already so I'm just going to load it with line 7 of the code and afterwards we can use the functions of the deep layer package. So if we want to create a frequency table, which is showing the relative frequencies of our input data frame, then we can use the code as you can see in lines 9 to 12. So in the first line, we simply need to specify the name of our data frame. So in this case, we have called our data frame data. Then we have to apply the pi operator. Then we have to tell R how we want to group our data. So in this case, we are grouping our data by X and Y. Then we again need to specify the pi operator. Then we need to apply the summarize function and the N function. Then again, we need to specify the pi operator. And finally, we can apply the mutate function. And within the mutate function, we are computing our frequencies, which is n, what we have computed before, divided by the sum of n. So if you run these lines of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, a table is returned, which is showing the relative frequencies of our data frame. So in the first column, you can see the values of x. In the second column, you can see the values of y. So if you combine these two columns, you will see that each combination which is possible in the columns x and y is shown here. And then in the third column, you can see that this column is showing how often each of these combinations appears. So for instance, the combination of x equal to 1 and y equal to a is appearing 10 times in our data. And then finally in the last column we have our frequency column which is representing the frequencies of each combination. So as you can see in each group of x um, these values are summing up to be equal to 1. Yeah so this is basically how to create a frequency table with the deep layer package in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of this video and furthermore I will also put the R programming code of this video into the description of the video so you could copy paste it from there if you want to use it for yourself. If you have liked this video I would be very happy if you leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video, thanks a lot, see you next time.